Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and tonight, we make good on that promise, we do have two exclusive final builds of mm. games tonight. Uh, yes? Muffled ding, audio is muted. Is no, there an issue? No, no, maybe, but it's looking good. Okay. Uh, before the show, there's no sound? Oh, it's good now. Oh, okay. Okay. Just the intro was muffled? <laughs> okay. The maybe intro that was a bit sound? weird. I don't know. Okay. Before the show, we had a huge crash of the computer. Yeah. Like, it went down and wouldn't come back up. Like, it would go to the BIOS screen, like, the booting thing, and wouldn't get past that. And I had to unplug all the things from the back, go into BIOS. Oh, boy. Um, everything looked good. It booted back up, put it back, put all the oh. things back in. So... Three times out of stock. <laughs> what? We've run out of stock. No, no. they're still, still there. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. That's weird. Everything's that just reset itself, unfortunately. Uh, so. The thing that makes that work is Mix It Up, a program. So let me reboot that. And that should allow it. Actually, that's <laughs> not the thing that allows it. Um, really? That's weird. Did it just shut? It crashed. It just hard like just crashed. Completely, oh, like I was no. typing something into the chat when it happened. Yeah. And I thought the batteries went on the keyboard because a key got stuck and it went like all across the screen. You know when a key gets stuck and yeah. it doesn't know you've lifted it? It went across the screen and went big. <laughs> and just then everything crashed. Went. There Boom. we go. Boom. Tree time. So it didn't ding because it's rebooting. No, I had the edit on mute. Or something. No oh. connection to mix, mix it up overlay on screen. Yeah, because I shut it down. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's back now. Yeah, the treat time is back. They're just seeing that delay. And I am going to make it ring <laughs> <laughs> manually because Cause of it issues. didn't work. Because of issues. Uh... Okay, here, here, this should work. <laughs> oh, it only did. That's okay. It didn't do all the noises. Okay. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that Slight was a bit delay, delayed. but that's okay. Yeah. Don't upgrade your software just before the show. Yeah. <laughs> ding. That's the <laughs> message. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Okay. Ding. So today we have Hellway two player edition. Uh, 2022 exclusive final binary. Mm -hmm. That's by Octavio, Octavio Pino Bocal. And we have Game Panic 3, also an exclusive final binary of that as well. Oh, so cool. we have two exclusives. Putty tat treats. Yes, thank, thank you, Spartan. Yes, thank you so much, Spartan. Works for him. Yeah. So some people, Something they've used it off. up too much. <laughs> I don't know. I did see a putty tap. Yeah, yeah. And oh. while, while he's eating and ringing the bell, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. 8-Bit Swami, Alna for Arms, Guard Coder, Atari, HBR, Polka, Buck Owens, Captain Man, 2D, Ch Charles, Charles and Check, Charles Wheel and Chai Five, Dan VC, Daryl, Dave the Daring, Drexel, Dr. Mook, Has, Fox, Mulder, Glenn, Main, Great Defender, Guard, Trooper, was your Rapper, Johnny WC, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Kevin Kelly, Crocker, Lauren, TDZ, Mark Yannis, Mark's Base Game, Metal, Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latow, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarnzu, Mr. Fix, Nathan Storm, Neo Media, Op, Bokobara, Deco, Packer, Quahog, RC7, E, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, Fiji, Ricardo, Pim, Swix, Six Sweets, Smitty B, Spartan, Spice, Where Some Mirrors, The D Train, The Welsh, Man, Tiki, Dan K, TM Events, X, Ken X. You want your name on there and make me lose even more <laughs> breath? Just uh, just subscribe. It's free with Amazon Prime, or you can just follow us. Um, there is a poll question. Okay. Okay, and I'm, I've got some preamble to the poll question. Okay. Um, because I follow. Or I just get tweets from this account. Uh, hopefully this all comes back up. Yes, it does. All uh, right, good kitty. It's called the the Twitter account is called Pro Pixels, and it's mm. at Five X Pixels. And the Five X refers to the Retro Tink Five X. And all this guy does, or whoever it is, posts pictures output from his Five X. Retro Tank 5X on various video games. So take a look at this one. Uh, this one is from a PlayStation. Uh, on the left, that's like 4K RGB sharp pixels, just straight output, pixel for pixel. 
Uh, the one on the right is uh, 1440 output, PVM scan lines, customized pre-filter mi five, minus five. So he's, he's putting the built-in filters from the uh, retro tank on there. So let's just compare. So that's pixel for pixel what the PlayStation's outputting. Okay. And this is what... Like fake screen. It, yeah. It's faking uh, a monitor, a CRT-based yeah. monitor. Yeah. So if you look at the two, there's the original... There's the after. Look at the shading on his cheek. I was looking at that. And the jaw and the top of the forehead compared to the straight pixels coming out of it, right? Yeah. It's got like actual radiation, radiation and shading yeah. due to the specific arrangements of those pixels, right? Mm -hmm. And here's another one. This is from uh, Sega Genesis. Um, originals RGB, sharp pixels, then the output on the one of the right's composite, slot mass, slat, uh, scan lines, pre-filter, minus, minus three. So he tells you, uh, ex he does a screenshot as well of mm. his settings that I can reproduce all of these. Um, so there's the original, pixel for pixel. And there it is shaded. Mm. Look at the shoulder and the bicep before. It's pretty, it's pretty nice, and yeah. And after, it's unbelievable mm -hmm. what like just the whole thing what they're able to get out of a shade like turning it from like a pink to half pink half darker yeah. and then moving it up like that um absolutely amazing hmm. so the question let's go back to the main screen here the um do i have it up yes the twitch poll are you gonna work that's why the CRT crowd continues to use CRTs. So here's the poll. And it's like, I keep in mind, those are PlayStation and Sega Genesis. Yes, yeah. So this the poll is about 8-bit systems, and specifically Atari 8-bit systems, like 2600, 7800, mm. and computer. Um, can you take advantage of CRT blending effects for graphics on the Atari 8-bit systems like you can for this? Or is it better to have crisp pixel perfect output mm -hmm. like like these are really high quality um lots of pixels much a lot of shading a lot more detail a lot more detail than um the eight like these are 16-bit systems and i'm just talking yeah. about the eight bit systems yeah yeah can you get that kind of quality is it worth it putting it on a crt does it help does it enhance it or is just are there not enough pixels on the 8-bit mm -hmm. systems Mm. Um, so the options are, one, all games look better on CRT, no matter what, even yeah. if they're the simplest 2600 games. Mm. Um, number two, only cre crisp, clean pixels, please. And I've been, we've been broadcasting just pixels, straight up as pixels. Crisp as crisp as... Crisp as possible. As um, authentic to what it outputs, right? As, as, as it can be. Yeah. Yeah. To what it outputs. Not, what maybe it not outputs. what it originally intended. Yes. Yeah. Or maybe not what yeah. the developers intended. Yeah. 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 I don't know. <laughs> and this is a question for developers, too. Mm -hmm. I don't... Like, Carl G is there. Uh, he's a developer. Um, and I know we have a lot of developers as well that mm -hmm. watch the show. Uh, number three, depends on the game. Some, it's useless. It doesn't help. Mm -hmm. Pixel for pixel, you want to see those pixels. Yeah. Rather than, oh, these two pixels side by side actually make a blended pixel together. And that was my intention with the game. Mm. Or four, no opinion. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so mm. Carl G says, CRT is better, but I don't think C LCD is worthless either. Sometimes it's only the realistic option. Yeah. So I can do all this with my retro tank. Mm. It's stuff he's doing. I I have the same options this mm -hmm. person does. Mm -hmm. But is it just going to... Like, like, when you compare the two things... Let's just go back here. Um, so if you go to the original here... Yeah. It is very, very sharp. It is sharp. Super sharp. And then it looks more blended and, and soft. But it's that. also very soft and blurry. Yeah, yeah. Which is like, well, that's what CRTs are. They're, they're not... It precise it makes me want to step like blur. like 50 feet back you know so oh yeah. it's tiny but it looks amazing you know like yes. i don't know what it is but so it does depend because you know 2600 pixels are quite large compared yeah. to other pixels mm -hmm. they're they're very high and very wide it doesn't use up the whole you know mm -hmm. it only has 160 across mm. um 
whereas the 7800 does have 320 across, right? So yeah. It, it's, who knows, right? Mm -hmm. um, nostalgia. The problem is I can see some elements on the screen might benefit while others might not. Mm -hmm. What you showed us looks really nice, but when the text fonts get blended, mm -hmm. they often get muddy. Mm -hmm. So text, no good. Mm -hmm. uh, give me chunko, chunky pixel see. fonts. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ivory Tower Collection says, exactly. Try reading the text on Shadowrun for the Genesis on Composite Output. Yeah. Option number 10. Use a poor quality RF cable for that nice, weak <laughs> NTSC signal effect. 26 hours used on the basement on an old TV. I played it on a black and white, old, blurry TV through RF. Black and white? And it was very mushy. <laughs> You could play it. Black There's things on the screen. You can shoot the oh, things. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you, you know what's going things. on, but I, that's fun. Blended and blurry is how I look without my glasses. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's really clean. Yeah. Now I'm looking at it. Yeah. No, I put it back on. It's like, that's funny. Um, so let's see. It's pretty evenly split between crisp. Well, it's actually evenly split between CRT and LCD. And then depends on the game is... It's pretty high. I think I think yeah. some games you might prefer it, and others you're like, no, I yeah. want to see the detail it's outputting exactly as is. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I Not me. That. I played on a 2600 and <clears throat> 19 inch color Magnavox back Ooh. then. Oh, fancy, fancy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so I just thought I'd throw that out because it is an interesting thing because there is always the debate between LCD and CRT. I can 100 percent see the benefit on 16 bit systems like it. They programmed it to have that shade. That kind of look. Exactly to, that. Yeah, look I to can it. see that too. Did yeah. the 2600 and 7800 original run of programmers have, like, know that? They didn't know any better. That's yeah. all they had. It was CRTs. But did they specifically go, these pixels side by side give a different look to it? Or they just went, nah, that's all that we have. Yeah. And do now homebrew developers develop? for CRTs or do they develop for, for LCDs? LCDs? Yeah. Because a lot of people play it on emulator, but you can emulate CRTs on that. It's true. It's a big it's a big question. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> both. Okay. Oh. Psst, 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 psst. This is a bad cat. Yes. Yeah. James has uh, it's um We have show and tell. Shame your cat day. Shame so. your cat. Yeah. This Get ready for the cat shame. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come here. One something in our house stopped working all of a sudden yes. one day yes this is an ethernet cable yes uh this is where you plug it in and this is where the cat chewed yeah Bad. right through it this you recognize this <laughs> where were you on the night two nights ago yeah <laughs> huh huh he's avoiding the question <laughs> guilty 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 <laughs> Oh. Perhaps bad cat shouldn't have treats. Then. Oh no! <laughs> so yeah, he not only now chews through small braided cable and small cable. Yeah, he's now chewing through flat Ethernets. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> oh, what are we gonna do with you? Back to the pound. Oh no! Release back into the wild, oh. you feral cat. <laughs> Yeah, you bet. Oh, but he says, but I'm so cute. Bad. Yeah. You we've... obviously didn't want that working. No. <laughs> Look at him. He's looking up at the treats right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Zero Page is now in his fifth year, as we've talked is about it? before. Oh, my God. And something recently <laughs> happened on YouTube okay. that has massively increased the views on our on our videos really? as of late, as of the last like four videos, yeah. um, like four or five fold, like huge jump. Really? Like massive. Well, I'm um, not complaining, but... Uh... And looking at the statistics, they're putting our videos in the recommended category. Really? Like they're recommending the videos to people who watch, you know, video games or really? 2600 or seven, Atari stuff like that. Hmm. Um, oh. So that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. I want to really thank everybody who's been watching yeah. this show and, I don't know, clicking like or commenting yeah. or thumbs up or, you know, subscribing. It's It's been really amazing. Not that I'm looking for more people to watch. Well, you are, but I, I it's am. not your intent. It's just no. to make the videos. It's, it's to do the thing. It's not necessarily... As long as it's reaching the people that want to see it. Exactly, yeah. Um, because with popularity comes general crowds of people 
<laughs> that hope that may not understand what we're doing here yeah. and, and be derisive and, and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But in general, thank you so much for yeah, enjoying I, the show. And, and a lot more comments have been coming on the YouTube channel. Nice, yeah. People leaving really good comments nice. about the show. So yeah. I'm, I'm really happy. Yeah, 2,600 yeah, subscribers. Yeah, 2,600. We'll, we'll celebrate the 2,000 and then definitely the 2,600. Yeah, so. yeah, but it's been... Here it's comes been everyone. Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> splendid nut. <laughs> yeah, but it's, uh, good. it's been good. Yeah, it, it is. Mm. YouTube is funny. It recommends your videos to me, even though I'm already subscribed. Same with us. Like, we're subscribed, obviously, on our own yeah, yeah. things. And it does recommend... Uh, zero page to us. I noticed that. It's like, like okay, oh, you haven't seen cool. the show. It's like, well, I, I was in it, but I, sure. I was, I was there. <laughs> I was sure, there I'll watch a time. little bit of it to make sure everything sounds yeah. and looks good. Yeah. Um, so for all the YouTubers out there complaining bitterly about the YouTube algorithm, algorithm? it's not it hurting works. us right now. <laughs> yeah, it's, so. it's working, which is nice. Yeah. Um, so this was uh, brought up to me. I saw this on a Facebook post. Okay. Um, so I can't remember the guy's name, Owen, I think, uh, posted on the Atari Age group. Uh, it was about the Audacity Games website. So he was on the store on the Audacity Games website and he clicked on, oh, what game do you want to buy? They only have one game, right? Okay. But they clicked on it and this came up. What? Uh, Casey's Gold, which we know about. Yeah. Um, that's been announced a long time ago, but... Rescue from Poseidon's Gate. That is absolutely brand new. That has oh. never been discussed or announced by Audacity Games. Oh, that's interesting. Or any of the people I know at Audacity Games have, mm. haven't told me, oh, it's a new game. Mm. So mm. that's a, a secret leak that Maybe. Uh, <laughs> uh, they haven't announced yet. So look if out for something. Someone stumbled across it. So yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I mean, it's not unobvious. We know nothing gonna, about it. So. If you're going to buy a game, yeah. it's, it's going to be there. Yeah. So they didn't make it very unobvious, but that's that's very, very cool. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to be down in the ocean and I don't Someone know. Someone said it sounds like a sequel to Fathom, yeah. although they didn't do Fathom, but that's what comes mm. to mind. That's what Ivor Tower says. Could mm. be. That would be cool. Yeah. Third Audacity game. Yeah. Uh, Casey's Gold date release has not been announced yet, yeah. So, but they're obviously working on a third one and maybe we'll talk about it soon yeah at we'll some see point. Yep. yeah so that's that's exciting yeah circus convoy was very a very, fun very well very, programmed very, game yeah very, very fun. fun game yeah um so a little uh fun little tidbit there yeah. easter egg i did tag them in my twitter post reposting that mm -hmm. screenshot so maybe they'll comment on it someone will see it and yep. send some info your way yeah yep um maybe i'll talk to dan <laughs> See if he has anything to say, but mm -hmm. you know, if he's not ready to say anything. Um, Alnifer added a new feature to the Atari 2600 Plus cart high scores listing, which is very. Ooh. Oh, could it be an April 1st joke? They never took off the site? That's possible. Yeah, I wonder who the author is because yeah. um, it was Gary and David mm -hmm. on um, the first game, Circus Convoy, and it's Dan's game for uh casey's gold so maybe it's gary's game the mm -hmm. third one mm -hmm. we'll see um so this new feature oh that's really small let's see if i can make it bigger uh, sure okay so he's added al's added this button here mm. you know how you play the game and you can see here ricardo pym Ricardo Pym. Ricardo <laughs> Pym uh, takes the three out of four top spots yeah. on um, whatever enduro. Gotcha. Um, this button show only the best score of each player. Oh, nice. So it'll get rid of the duplicates and only show you the top score. Yeah. So, so everyone gets one shot and their yes. highest score. Yeah. Because okay, otherwise, that's... if somebody's really good at the game, it, it's going to be they're going to take the top the ten. Yeah, that's true. Right? Yeah. So that's let's fair. click on that. Ricardo Pim's just first. Yeah, <laughs> just first. And then just first. <laughs> and I. Oh, oh, there's Crossbow. Charles Wheeland up there, I see yeah. too. Oh, we never recognize maybe. some names. I always recognize some names. Um, uh, there's. Zero page? Uh, me? Yeah. In 17th, but this doesn't get renumbered. So uh, still in 17th high score. High place. score. Yeah. I don't know if it's good or not to renumber them. Yeah. That might be a good option because mm -hmm. it's hard to tell if you are in 17th place or not. And there's Helen the Fur in 25th place. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's really, really handy to know 
you know, where exactly you are without the repeats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, super handy. RC70, like the bullies at the arcade, they didn't want anyone else's name on the machine. That's right. Yeah. Put the three letter swear words all the way down. <laughs> number one to number 10. Yeah. Uh, so funny. Um, okay. So I think that, oh, no, we have uh, mail to open. Uh, not too exciting. Nothing to do with retro gaming. Oh, might. Uh, forever physical. Limited run. We'll see what it is and see if I even remember what the game's about. Because basically when they announce a new game, I go to YouTube, check out the footage of it, mm -hmm. and go, oh yeah, that's right up my alley. Or, eh, another Street Brawler game? <laughs> no. Yeah, uh, I don't care if it's wrong. TMNT. I just am not into Street Brawlers. <laughs> Just don't care. Axiom Verge 2? Mm. Let's see. Oh my god. Oh, you didn't quite open it. Oh, right. There you go. That'll help. Oh, yep. There you go. Ooh, oh, oh, ooh, oh. stuff. Look yeah. at this stuff. They always, they always give ads in there. Uh, Sir Lovelot, which is a platformer. Ooh. Cool little platformer. Yeah. There we go. And the card they always give. Yay. Looks very cool. Very fun. Yeah. There you go. So, Very nice. I like getting those games. Um, and, oh, Club of Fun newsletter. I like getting games. newsletters. Oh, also, after the show, we're going to be doing an After Dark of uh, Failsafe, mm. Bob DiCrescenzo's. Remember this one, the tank, where you get um, upgrades? Oh, And you go yes. faster, or you're invincible. Oh, that's a fun, yeah. Fun, so I want to try and get to the end. I think we got really close, but we, we did. didn't get yeah, to the end. Yeah, we got pretty far in it. So, so yeah. now I got this in the last batch. Uh, 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 Atari Age Order oh, that I cool. got. So we're going to be playing it in the mm. After Dark after the show. All right. Get to light up that. And nice. Yeah, but today it is uh, 2600 games. Put up the sign. Nice. And we're going to... Is the audio out of sync? Oh, it better be just for you. Let me just redo it. Other people would have complained by now. I it, think so. Because it's usually like a second out of sync. Yeah. It's really Very... bad. But they might be oh. like, oh... Audio okay. good here. Phew. Yeah. Don't don't adjust it too much. Phew. Phew. No, I, I just like every time before I have to boot the program up, I have to adjust it. Because it doesn't read mm -hmm. the information unless I like adjust the information. It's so stupid. And I still haven't fixed it. Of course I haven't complained about it, so. Mm. Uh so the first game we're gonna be playing is Hellway. Mm. Two players edition. If everybody remembered, we did play Hellway on the show yeah. a couple times. Yeah. Um, but uh, Octavio has extended the game mm. into two players. I'm excited. And we have the exclusive final build of the game. I've been going back and forth doing some play testing to make sure it works all well mm -hmm. on, on the system, and it does. Um, so. The games he's made is Hellway and Hellway two-player edition. Those are the games he's made. Mm -hmm. And Hellway just recently got released in the last batch of the Atari Age releases. So that's Hellway, but non-two-player? Yeah, that's just the single-player... Hellway? Okay. Single-player on the screen. Cool. Yeah, and this is two-player, where okay. we both can play at the same time, which I love two-player games. I'm always looking for more two-player games to play in the show, because mm -hmm. it's really fun playing it um, well. together. Um, and I actually have a video from Octavio, Octavio, uh, to play a little bit later after we play one run through of the game. Okay. So we'll give, uh, we'll give it a go. And then I have a, a short video. Well, 10 minutes. I don't mm -hmm. know. Depends on your definition of short. <laughs> he was a little concerned. It was a little long, but it, Ten minutes it goes, isn't bad. it goes, yeah. it goes by just fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. So let's get it booted up. <laughs> and I don't know if he's with us tonight. I haven't seen his name. Okay. Uh, if you are, please uh, out yourself yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the name you're using. Um, or is it Op Bocal? Is it Op Bocal? I don't know. No, well, yeah, it is. Octavio Pino Bocal. Okay. Oh, there he is. Yay. He is with us tonight. Yay. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Let's boot her up. Me? Me? <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> Oh, laddie. Oh. Okay, let's skip over to... Mm -hmm. Hello! And thank you for hanging out with us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go to today... Oh, yesterday's date. Oh, is it? Yeah, 
sometimes because I, uh, I was that's doing okay. it yesterday. Away and go to seven lines, please. What's the difference? Uh, Five versus seven. It was just testing. Oh, okay. Yeah, and seven is fine. Um, so that's a QR code that takes you to the instructions, I believe. Nice. Which is very, very handy. I like that, yeah. Yeah, so you just put your phone up and everybody can do it right now if they yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay, so I'm gonna let what well, we, it is, it is actually two players. Okay, from like, the beginning. Like, so you need to there play. There is no one player. Okay. So if you want to play the one player, there's the one player. Yeah, but well, so, but this is the two player version, yeah. right? So I, okay. I, I, I literally have to play it with you, yeah. which is not a problem. Well, but. we can play around and then you can you can talk. And oh, yeah, can, yeah, yeah. You know, like, we, we might as well. I think yeah. people have seen Hellway before, so. Yeah, so press the button. Okay. Let's get into it. Um, so this is first players on the left. And the second player is on the right. Yeah. And there's different cars. We might as well go through the cars first. Okay. So there's four cars. So if you stop on one, stop moving, I can explain each one. Up, down, left, oh. right, I believe. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> I was okay. like, yeah. So go up. Okay. So that's the default car. That, so there's different, there's acceleration, top speed, glide, mm -hmm. which is at the end when you ran out of time. And you keep gliding. Yeah, it's flickery. Super flickery. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, locally, it's not as bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but to get this many stuff on the screen, uh, there needs to be flicker. And he'll talk about that in his 10-minute okay. uh, uh, talk. So that car has... So it goes from one star to three stars. Okay. So it has acceleration, top speed, glide, and handling. Okay. Okay. So this is kind of middle-of-the-road car. It has medium acceleration, high top speed, medium glide, high handling. Okay. Um, so go to the next one. To the okay, uh, that one is super fast acceleration, fast top speed, uh, medium glide, and very slow handling. Mm. Okay, go to another one. That one is uh, probably the one I'm going to play. It has very fast acceleration. Okay. Um, it has medium top speed. It has medium glide and top handling. Mm. And then go to the last one. That one has slow acceleration, fast top speed, um, top speed gliding, and top handling. So if you don't mind slow acceleration, that one is the best for everything mm. else. I might try that one. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I am going to go with... <laughs> Charles um, Rees, should I get one. my 3D glasses? Yeah. <laughs> you wait, you wait. Get your shutter frame glasses. Yeah. Uh, oh, Mike Soul. So there's different uh, difficulty. Mm -hmm. uh, BB is the easiest. Well, we Gives you the BB. most checkpoint time. Okay. Um, <clears throat> oh, no, it doesn't give you the most checkpoint time, but no. it it's kind of averages out. So there's light traffic. Oh, I on see. On BB, okay. which makes it a lot easier. Forget the time. You need light the traffic. The traffic is like, yeah. And it goes up to regular, intense, and rush hour traffic. And okay. rush hour is literally rush hour. You are dodging and diving your way it's through. It's me driving home from work on a Friday, trying to get here for 6 p.m. It's yes. basically, basically this is her yeah, every day. My, my commute every single Friday So it goes afternoon. from 29 seconds for checkpoint up to 44 seconds for checkpoint on rush hour. So you get more time for rush hour. Mm -hmm. We're going to play uh, light traffic first with 29 seconds to make it to the checkpoint. Okay. And as you progress, I, I believe it gets harder. Mm. Um, okay. Um, yeah, we'll go, we'll take a look at some other options after we play. Um, but at the top, there is a number of pieces of information. One of them is how far along you are in the race. And another one is how many seconds you have left. Oh, Champ Games just posted an update on kicks for the 2600. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Um, and then there's total number of checkpoints, number of hits, time gliding in seconds. Oh, that's in the game over. Okay. 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 So let's give let's it a play. Go. I picked my car. Okay. Uh, mine is a slower top speed, but good acceleration, decent glide, and good handling. And what's mine again? And yours is uh, excellent on everything except 
slow handling. acceleration. Oh, what? Slow acceleration? Yeah. Okay. That's yours. Top speed glide and... So okay. So yours is excellent everything. So okay. both have to press our buttons. So I'm on the right. And you can see there's ah. an arrow what? when somebody is ahead of the other person. And then when you're really ahead, the arrow disappears. But when you get close to the other person, uh, the arrow starts uh, to come back. And then if they pass you, you can see them on your screen. What is acceleration again? Is it the it's button? Just the button. Oh, okay. It is very. And that noise means I'm at the checkpoint, and you get invincibility for as long as the noise keeps happening. So that means you can just book it. Oh, 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 oh. And then back is break. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, didn't break enough. And you can get hit again from behind. Yeah, it's brutal. So you really have to dodge even if you're slowed right down. So it's like um, oh God, turbo in that respect. Oh, checkpoint and I'm going so slow. Because uh, if you remember turbo, you had to dodge people, but you could have, you could be on the side and be able to dodge them. Because there was one area where it gave you a like reprieve. Super behind now. Are you? I did run into a bit of a problem there. Ugh. Uh, traffic. Traffic. Ah. Uh. Ah, smoosh. Come so on. Tang is on the left. I'm Come on the right. Come on. Oh. Accelerate! Accelerate! Well, that's is it the car you chose? Super no, slow acceleration. That isn't slow acceleration, is no? it? I that's, thought it was. Uh... Well, that's the one you've got. Oh, it is. Everything good except acceleration. Oh, okay. We're not going with that again. <laughs> no, but what? you have super top speed. Yeah, but I, I honestly, there's too much traffic to, to ever hit it. That's so. exactly why I chose Unless mine. Unless <laughs> you're going through checkpoints. Yes, and then it's a huge advantage because so you can just motor through, but that's a very short amount of time compared to... Oh, traffic! Ah. Oh, that was a terrible waste of a checkpoint. Now we're in rush hour, aren't we? Yeah, this level is fairly... Oh, God. It's braking and accelerating at the same time. Terrible. Checkpoint for somebody. It's me. Oh! Oh yeah, it's definitely you. Should have uh, slammed on the gas. I can't really handle higher than this speed, really. Because any faster, it's like I, things come at you too fast. So and I have to brake anyway. I can't, maybe I could handle a little faster than this, but I'm not willing to give up the acceleration. Oh. For the top speed. So I think you make it up in that time. Oh my god. Oh, oh no, no, I'm at the. Oh, you're like a whole lap ahead of me. I can't tell. Five. No, you are. You're ahead of me by a whole checkpoint. I just passed my checkpoint. Oh. Because I've been going slow. I haven't had that many crashes, but I've been very slow. Like, your your speed is way faster than mine. Nope. Yours is faster. My acceleration is... No, Whoa. no, your speed is faster. No. I'm about to no. die, I think. Uh, you have two seconds to make checkpoint. Remember to glide. Don't break. Don't break. Cool. There, you made it. So that's that's one interesting part of this game. You can glide. You're a whole checkpoint into the ahead checkpoint. of me. Like, what's the point oh. anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta catch up. You can do it. Uh -huh. Then the traffic makes you grind to a complete halt. <laughs> Shouldn't be racing cars in traffic then. I know. Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was close. 
And I think the time gets compounded. Oh God, I was down to like no speed. Oh no, you can do it. Oh, I don't think so. No, don't break. No. Don't break whatever you do. Oh. I think you've got good gliding. Oh, that's me. Oh, why am I going so slow? Oh, man. At that point. Oh, I made it. Come oh on. my God, you did. I don't know how that happened. Oh. I think the time gets added. Like your leftover time. Oh, Cause no. I've got 50 seconds and you start with 29 each level. Octavio, can you uh, confirm that, that you- No one's looking at the chat cause we're both playing. Sorry, yeah. You, this is not a game where you can look away from No. It. Ah, ah. <laughs> I know I'm not, I'm not gonna make it much further. Oh, eight seconds. Well, you're halfway there. You could glide. I'm, I'm if you're careful, dead get already. Up, get up some good speed. I d no, my acceleration is so crappy. Oh, traffic jam for you. Oh, you can do it. Oh. Yeah, totally dead now. Boo! No. Boo. Boo! Okay. Now you can read the chat. Is this what it's like to drive in Vancouver? Yes, yes. correct. Yes, on number one highway. The only highway in ah, Canada. Wait, who is player one? I am player one. <laughs> Kenny's on the left. Yeah. I'm on the right. Yeah. Leilaism says, when I play the game, it does not flick like this. It is the capture card. Yes, it is. It yeah. is. Um, traffic jams when you're already late. Yes. I've... So player one is on the right and player two on the left. No, player le one... I'm player one, right? Tanya's I'm on the, on the left. left. I'm on the right. You're on the right. Forget player one, player two, anything like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tanya's player one. Please invert everything I said. <laughs> <laughs> Confirm what? Um, oh, that... I interrupted James because... <gasps> How dare you talking over me so oh, people can't yes. hear. That your time gets added when you get made to a checkpoint. Like I start with 51 there and I've started with 59 at some points. Like I had 19 seconds left over. Yeah. So I'm guessing it adds it. <laughs> you can still move around a bit. I can move. I can't accelerate. It's like old Atari games. Yeah. Where when you die, you're still there. Like sometimes in mm. shadow, like in Warlords. Which is fun. Ooh. Oh. Did Wizard of War flicker the play field too? Mm-hmm. Uh, the old Wizard of War? Oh. Wizard of War in regards to players being swapped? No, no, I mentioned Wizard of War. Oh, players being swapped, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the, the bad ah, flicker is, is the capture card. It's not... Oh. Oh, it's, there we go. Get out of there. Mm. I, I, I've talked about my issues with the capture card. Okay, the cat's on the amp. Fluffing it up. Hey! 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 Psst, 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 psst. Get out yep. of there. There we go. Oh, traffic. Ooh, I should Ooh. go for the blue traffic. Yep. You there we go. Oh my god, this level. I don't think I'm going to make this level. There's just... Look at these cars. Like, there's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing. Like, it's a lot of traffic. Like, when I go into the blue lane again, there's just more blue cars. Where's oh, the HOV lane when you need it, eh? That's right. Aren't I driving electric car? In this game? Ah! Oh! Oh god, 10 seconds! I'm almost there. Almost there. Ooh, Ooh no, no! I did not Too understand soon. the question exactly. The, um, that when you when you pass a checkpoint, you... the time... <laughs> oh, I'm still gliding. At the time at the end of your checkpoint gets added to the next round. Or do you always start with the same amount of times? Yes, yeah, see? I had 29 seconds. Yeah. I ran out of time. But if I had 10 seconds left, would it add those 10 seconds to the default 29 mm. seconds? Uh, and I think I know the answer because I just kind of confirmed it. Oh, this is mm. a much better track. Oh my god. Oh, but I'm running out of time again. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. That's what I thought. Sorry. Uh, didn't probably express that very well, well the first time. I'm going to have to glide time. again. Glide. Uh, oh, it's slow. You know your game is ending when you're, you're gliding. Ooh. You're gliding the whole time. It only adds. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. See there it. Oh, whoa! Oh, I don't know how you pull. Whoa! Pixel perfect gaming. Yeah. 
<laughs> that one was like. Oh, oh. smack. Oh, no, yeah, I think I'm bit. done this time. This one's too trafficy. Oh, God, no! Six seconds, and I'm not. Ooh, this is gonna be too trafficy to glide. Ooh, got some good speed. Let's see if I can keep it up. Ooh, don't crash. Oh, gonna make it! Checkpoint, accelerate. This one's not too bad. Yeah, the flickering is crazy on the capture yeah, card. Yeah, I apologize. Is there a way to fix that or no? No, if no, everyone's can... talking about it, so... No, if you can figure that out, I'll... I don't know what I'll do. I'll give you what do you test. have it set to for, um... No, it's... it's... it's a problem. It's an ongoing problem with games that are flickery. Mm. Um... Th it also looked a little worse because my computer crashed before the show. Oh, I see, It's yeah. not normally quite this bad, but on games that have flicker, especially full screen flicker, um, oh no. Oh, I have no speed. Oh, oh, I made it. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh, you just did. Just barely made it. Yeah. Like, if you look at that, it's just crazy. Yep. Okay, enough talk about the flicker. <laughs> we know it exists, and it's terrible. Is it better on the captured st stream for YouTube? Yes. Yeah, so it's really... Twi um, Twitch is, is... It's better, it's not perfect. Perfect, okay. It's better. Yeah. Um, so it will look a slightly bit better on YouTube. The Airpocox says, try vertical interlace mode, smooth or soft, maybe. Mm. On Retro Tank? I don't know. I'm not playing on Stella, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's outputting from, an art, uh, from the uh, 2600, right? Yeah. Yeah. As far as I know, there are no... There's nothing on the retro tank that can deal with phosphor die-off. Mm. That's the problem. And the major problem is the capture card because we are seeing the output from the game on the television and it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Like it's exactly what you would expect it to be. Um, like on Stella. I'm just hanging on by the skin of my teeth every time. Oh, I made it again. <gasps> mm -hmm. uh, yes, I'm re uh, recording them locally. Can you read out the chat when it comes up? Any questions? Uh, yeah, just people talking about the flickering. Uh, Severin says, so 30 FPS and 60 FPS are not good choices to capture at. Well, there's an issue. I have extensive write-up in the Atari Age forums about this issue. About the Atari outputs at 29.92 frames per second. Um, my capture card captures at 29.94 frames per second, mm. uh, which may be introducing some issues. Um, but also, I think there's a problem with either the capture card or my computer. Oh, okay. So that's something... I, I have two other capture devices... But they're all the same brand. So they all have the same They all look exactly rate. the same. And they range from a very expensive capture card to a very inexpensive capture card. They all exa act exactly the same. Mm -hmm. I'm suspecting it's my computer, but it also could be Elgato not being able to handle the weirdness that is Atari 2600. Mm -hmm. Because every other system... Am I going to make it? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, on Stella, yeah, Stella, you can set phosphor, you can do things. Uh, oh, Ivory Tower Collections was actually asking you if you're if you're recording your streams locally at the same time. Yes, I do. Yeah, and I was that's curious what I upload. how you up the vids later to YouTube from Twitch. Yeah. yeah, I start recording five seconds before the show starts, so I get that little intro, and then I stop after the show's over, and I just upload that exactly to YouTube. Yeah, I don't have to do any editing, no pro post processing at all. Yeah. Okay. Did you give up? I I I no. died. Ten, you died. <laughs> so I can't jump back in. Um, yep. But I will play again. But we have a video from Octa Octavio. Excellent. Uh, talking uh, about 
the game and future games and some questions I posed to him. Awesome. And his uh, uh, history of programming for the 2600. Mm. So here it is. Hello. This is my third take and final take. Uh, if this doesn't work, I'm going to abort. So, hello, my name is Otavio. I'm the creator of Hellway and Hellway to Players Edition. Uh, you probably wonder why I'm walking down the street while recording this video. So, yeah, I have a little baby at home. It would be impossible to talk in a proper volume. So, I decided to just, just, just go for a walk and record this video. Hi. So, let me go back a little bit. Uh, and talk about a little bit how how I ever how, how this how ever everything came to be and tell a little bit ab about the first hallway in a glance then continue to talk about about the two players edition so in 2013 I created a game called Mega Ultra Ping Pong Deluxe basically a pong with all kinds of power up like laser that could cut your pedal uh, multiple balls in field, all kind of crazy, crazy stuff. 12, 12 power ups. It was moderate, uh, it was kind of successful, with very good reviews. Uh, in 2014, I decided, okay, no, I do want to create a game for retro consoles. Uh, I, I think games are a form of art, and I always admire how people could do things with so, so little resource. And I decided, no, I, got, I decided I, I'm gonna go for the challenge. Uh, I, saw, I started building the game, and I basically, but the reason I stopped it was because of Atari. Basically, they gave me a cease and desist letter from a Pong game, uh, basically taking it out of there. It was not a Pong clone, it was a Pong homage. Uh, it was a completely different, different game based on the foundations of Pong, but... Yeah, I tried to appeal, I tried to say, okay, I make the game open source, I change the title, uh, I remove ads, whatever, just want to keep my work alive, but no, bam, cease and desist, just remove your game. Uh, since then, many things happened, yada, 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 moved to Amsterdam, uh, in 2020 I had a daughter, and this made me realize how time is precious, because I... I had much time in my hand uh, before, and I didn't realize, I didn't think I had time at all, but when you have a baby, you understand how much time you had for yourself, right? Uh, and I decided, okay, no, I, I, need, I need to finish, to finish my, my stuff. So dur during these years, I tried several games, I couldn't finish, or the scope was too high, uh, mostly for engines. Uh, I like units, uh, but or the scope was too much, or or the gameplay uh, uh, prototype, or when prototyping the gameplay, it wouldn't play well. Uh, so after several failed attempts, attempts, I said no. I'm gonna go back. I'm going to go back to Hellway, and I'm gonna finish that project. So find time out. I don't know how exactly, but I managed to find time and. The first thing I had to solve was to, to, to make a good algorithm uh, to generate car, pa uh, car pattern, patterns that uh, were well distributed but really, really fast to generate and consistent without using almost any additional memory and being fast enough to, to be able to do this every frame. Uh, and with this solved, then it was like multiple interactions. So we have all the story of the first game actually documented on Atari Age, uh, multiple interactions until the point that, okay, it was a very, very, very unique game. It was completed until the point that I was able to finish it and I was very proud of it. Also because it was a very unique game, you use all the Atari graphics as a vertical drawing canvas uh, that can, can, can actually draw any, any kind of pattern. Uh, it's a very unusual game and there was very, a lot of things that, um, yeah, that are unique to it. So 
I was very happy with my work. Uh, let me change page for a second. And I have no hands here, so just a second. So, to the pop. Uh, a wind. Uh, so, this is the first game. I had I had the idea of. Yeah, it's really cold right now. So, uh, I had the idea of of making to a uh, two-player game uh, to have two two player support, but it proved to be really hard because uh, any kind of attempt to do two players game with two players at the same screen prove prove it to not work. Uh, so I do have to, to run two screens at the same time. Uh, so I aborted for the first game, and I, I actually didn't even know that I would tackle this this thing again. But after the the first game was complete and all the art delivered to Atari Age, uh, I felt like the itch to, to to code again for Atari. This is amazingly fun to to actually code for this thing that's a little bit more powerful than calculator. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, yeah. I, I, I had considered several several uh, ways to several ways to, to, to solve the problem, but yeah, in the end it was actually drawing one screen at a time, removing everything that was extra from the first game and comp compressing these 100, 108 bytes of memory uh, to have only the essential stuff. It actually organized the memory so we could use all kind of indirect access. Uh, of of the CPU to to actually make some some clean optimized code uh, 128 bytes and I'm running two games so I was very proud was when I made this thing work like when I I, I was able to to do it even with the flickering so the flickering w was a trade off I, I'm not going to say that flickering is like the magical solution and I know everybody has a different has a different perception of flickering, different hardware, different monitors, uh, different people. Uh, I know it was a huge trade-off, but it was a working, and is a working solution. A third hertz constant flickering, basically drawing left of the screen, so drawing the screen for one player, then drawing the screen for other player on the next frame. But the controls, they are still six hertz, Meaning that they are as responsible as in the first game. It's just you have you see less frames, uh, but you still have the same control precision, like the game feeds, because I was able to squeeze all the CPU cycles to to actually run uh, almost everything for the two players every frame, if you, even if you don't see both frames at the same time. Uh, yeah, so uh, then I I'll just quickly tell uh, about my next projects and so uh, sorry first talk about the physical release of Hellway to players edition so I have no idea so let, let's wait for the first game I'm not even thinking about it and then I, I, I can I can think about a plan and what I'm going to do so we talk about this later but about about my two next games uh, the first one would be like an abstract game using everything that Atari hardware has to offer to draw some nice abstract colorful uh, things on the screen uh, basically not fighting the hardware but using what the hardware has to offer to just do some kind of game that is very minimalistic but very artist artistic and where you, you not suppose uh, I don't I don't want to tell what you are seeing the screen. Uh, I want to to you, you to use your imagination. Like you can imagine whatever whatever you want. It's gonna be like shapes. Uh, I don't even know the, the core of the gameplay. I just going to start to do some some code and let and let and let, and let the hardware guide me. The second game. Now it's gonna come full circle. I'm almost in ten minutes. That's the least. The, 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 sorry, that's the less amount of time I could do. Uh, and this is the final take. So it's it or nothing. So the final game. It's Mega Ultra Ping Pong Deluxe. Yes, the, the very game that Atari made me remove from the Play Store. I'm going to make on the real hardware with the technology of the time. I'm going to build the best pong game ever created for the Atari and for the generation. 
with even more power-ups are gonna go crazy and, and these I want to actually push the hardware to the very limits without using anything but widely available technology of the time so pushing to the very limits making like the best pawn game ever I'm, I'm, ta I'm talking about like the, be the, be the best pawn game ever uh, at least for me, of course, everybody has his own opinion. So many people probably think Hellway sucks, which is okay. And many people think this punk sucks. But I'll do my very best to at least do something really impressive. Uh, that's the idea. Maybe this will never work out. But this is all the, about the revenge plan that took eight years, right? Atari made an assist this disease my pawn game. Now I'm going to make it run. Now I have the knowledge to make it run real hardware. And... Yeah, a crazy pong with all kinds of power-ups. So hopefully I'll talk to our guys again one day. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you, James and Tanya, for this space. And that's it. Thank you and goodbye. Good night. Thank you so much, Octavio, yeah, for that wonderful video and a tour of your town. <laughs> yes, I'm looking forward to uh, the <laughs> ultimate Pong, by the way. <laughs> Pong, ultimate. Ultimate power up, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was very dynamic walk yeah. walking around, showing us your town. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, a good overview of what he's done and what he's going to be doing. That's good. And um, so I think we should play one more time yes. and pick different cars and pick a yeah. different track and i think we should just push it right to the extreme okay go for super traffic it gives okay. us a little bit more time mm -hmm. to get through that traffic um so that's a a okay and uh what you there you can look at the car's acceleration i'm gonna go with the first one this time i think yeah it has not so good glide top speed handling better uh, I'm going to go with the race car. I'll just, yeah, I'll go with the first one because we we haven't played that. So I, we'll, we'll, we'll at least show all of the different ones. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well. There's a the race car. Okay. Okay. So yours has um, good top speed and handling and medium acceleration and glide. Okay. Mine has good acceleration and top speed, medium glide and terrible handling. Okay. So we'll see how that goes. Mm. Okay, so, uh, oh, gotta switch back over. This probably won't last long because the traffic is terrible in this one. All right. Hold it down. I'm on the right. Oh, he's slow, oh. slow handling. Slow handling. I gotta get, that's gonna be, that's gonna be something. Oh, I don't need that top speed. See, I was really happy with the car I had. Yeah? Yeah. You had the better traffic. car? Oh, I can hit you, Dad. Oh, that's right. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, so this is no fun. If the arrow's coming up behind you, you can kind of stay with the arrow of the other person and run them off the road. Yeah, it's really mean. Ah, ah, ah. I can't go very fast between lanes. So no, I have to kind of slow down with my car. Traffic. Oh, traffic. It's terrible in this town. It is. So, so Tanny keeps catching up a little bit to a me. A little, and then he's going to smush me. Oh, made it. Oh. oh, both of us. My handling. Oh, I missed the checkpoint. Oh. oh. So it's usually, it sounds like it's using one voice for one of the... Oh, my God. <laughs> you. Oh, I forgot that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Oh, no. Let's see if I can catch up. I don't know. Oh, nice moves. Ha. Oh, you bastard. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I can't switch lanes very fast with my car, though. Yeah, That's your handling what's killing is me. poor. That's what's killing me. Oh, it's so slow. I don't think the traffic's like... Ha ha! Oh my god, you went right through my car! Oh, and I landed right in traffic! Oh no! 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 <laughs> no! Oh. No! Yeah, so when you're crashed, 
the other car can go through you, which is a big advantage because you don't want to be slowed down by the crashed car. Ah, oh, man. Could we have more time on this level? It is brutal. See, the fast acceleration doesn't do anything for me because I can't just switch lanes very fast. Ah! Oh, you're at checkpoint. I'm almost out of time. Oh, just made it. Gotta make some time up. You get more time to, to ricochet past me, you know. Oh. Ooh. Ricochet past you? Yeah, you can. You get a little bit more time if you're behind me. I swear. I don't oh, know if that's true. Oh, there is an option. There is an option. Like, you do. You do for sure, because it goes da 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 Like, it's a slower tone, I think. Right. Yeah, even put it in the, in the manual, there's a ricochet. Like, you can turn it on or off. Oh, oh, oh. Where it gives lane. the person behind an advantage. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, rubber banding. That's what he called it. Oh, God. Damn it. No, I'm going to die. Four seconds. Oh, I'm so close. Nope. And I crashed. And that's it. I have no oh, forward. Oh, I, I'm the one. No forward momentum. Oh, Does that can mean? I make it? Nope. I stopped. Yep. Oh, I, you totally, screw, you I beat totally me. screwed that up because I thought um, I you were going through the checkpoint for some reason. That's okay. <laughs> That, which makes no sense, but oh, whatever. I didn't. I, I didn't accelerate. I, That's okay. I didn't quite make it to the checkpoint. I didn't quite point. take advantage of my my checkpoint. Oh, oh. What oh. are the graphical elements? I'm guessing the cars and the arrows are sprites for sure. Sides of the roads and maybe the center cars are play field. Oh my gosh. I would say the sides. Just guessing because I don't know if I've done an analysis on the binary. The sides that are play field. Oh no, no. Maybe the whole thing's play field? Oh, Does he have enough time? No. Oh, you're, you're gonna make it, no. you're gonna make it. You're gonna make it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Oh. The sides I'm of the tired. road are asymmetrical play field. Oh, then the, the other stuff is um, missiles. And, mm. oh, you know what? He switched the missiles for the opposite player's car to the other side of the road. Mm. So that they no, they're still the same colors. Yeah, okay. Oh, and you can see the purple uh, mm -hmm. is playfield is the ball then, and the gray. Oh, the middle lane is the ball, mm. and he's done um, score, um, uh, score playfield, which splits the screen into two colors. Oh, okay. Um, and cool. then uh, yeah, I think I've got almost all of it. <laughs> Uh, okay. Next game. Awesome, awesome, super fun game. So, so much fun. Um, I apologize again for the flicker that you're seeing. Uh, uh, YouTube might be better, so if people watching on YouTube might be a bit better. Yeah. We're not seeing that, so if you download the game, it's not there. The, it yeah. looks great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The at, game looks great. <laughs> at 30 hertz, I'm guessing, is the flicker. It's quite fast. Yeah. It's not 15 like Pac-Man. Yeah. Original Pac-Man. <laughs> um, Super fun game for two players. Mm -hmm. I always love two player games. And this one, uh, oh yes, I wanted to add that he said, and I also think as well, mm -hmm. um, he said, I think Hellway two players edition is the first true multiplayer split screen game where the players have full consistent view of the world mm. and interact with each other. Yes, yes, yes. And you do interact with each other. Yes. I've never yeah. seen an Atari 2600 game that has split screen, which not many have. Well, it's and a, you see your whole world, and you see theirs. But it, interacting it's with you. tracking your movement on my plate, my my screen, and vice, and vice versa. versa, which is really really cool. <laughs> Can anybody think of another twenty six hundred game like yeah. that, where it's not many are split screen to begin with? Like I, yeah. I can't even think of another split screen game where you have two different players on not the same play field. Because yeah. why wouldn't you want them interacting with each other? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, spy vs. No, there's not Spy vs. Spy. That would be very, very cool. Mm -hmm. I've thought about how could you, know, you could do that. I bet you could. And that and that's, an, that's an example of a game mm -hmm. where it's split screen and you interact with each other on your own screens. Um, that would be very hard in the 2600. That would be better suited for the 7800 because mm -hmm. there's a lot of very detailed things you have to do on the screen. Or you could have a lot of flicker on the 2600 and go for that. <laughs> um, he says, it, 
if this is indeed true, I would like to proclaim being the first. And as far as I know, he is the first person mm -hmm. to do this. So congratulations. <laughs> okay, we're going to go on to the second game of the night, Game Panic 3. This is exclusive game final okay. binary uh, by Jason Santucci, is known as Gemintronic. Gemintronic. On the Atari Age forums. This mm. is first posted January 10th, 2022. Um, this build is from uh, April 15th, 2022. It's a 32K. Oh, actually, also, before we move on, that's a 4K game by the way, oh. as well. Oh, uh, Hellway. Hellway, two-player oh. edition is 4K, which is really, really amazing. Wow. Um, so Jason Santucci has done a ton of games, mm. usually associated with, like, a movie or in conjunction with somebody else. Like, he, he seems to like to tie in other elements from outside of the video game world into his games. Mm. Um, so he's like made official games for like mostly horror films. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but he's made it just a ton, a ton mm. of, of games. Um, let me switch over to uh, this and we'll show off his website here. Um, oh, to log in. There we go. Click to releases. And he's got them by date. He needs to fill that in. He needs to update <laughs> his website. But I, I'm only going here to show uh, old games that he's made and also the first uh, Game Panic game right here. Oh, 2014. 2014 is when he did the first one. Portable LCD game styled action from Jason Santucci and the immortal John Hancock, who is a um, YouTuber. Mm -hmm. as well goes to conventions and stuff uh variants include black and white colored and chroma depth-esque themes <laughs> and it got a boxed release nice. and yeah it, i believe you're basically avoiding things as you cross over the screen okay or collecting certain things um it, i believe it's only on cartridge so i don't have a, a copy you of don't that. have a copy of the yeah. original yeah yeah um but we do have a video of it so let's, oh, actually, let's look at the finals. 52.6, right? Can't see it, too tiny. Uh, bigger on your guys' screen. Uh, for depends on the game, and then tied 21.1% for CRT and LCD, and then no opinion, 5%. Nice. Uh, so let's take a look at the video for the first game panic. And this is, I believe, off of John Hancock's uh, YouTube channel. Gotcha. Just to give credit. Let's forward it. That's the intro. There you go. Oh. So, yeah, it's crossing the screen at the bottom. Oh, there! it has a real Game & Watch feel. I like it. And that's what he was going for. And, yeah. and the same with the one we're going to be playing. A okay. very Game & Watch uh, feel to it. Yeah. yeah. And then you can't go nice. through when the walls are up. So it's, it's an uh. avoid. Avoid the things that are falling. And I think he did make it in the style mm. where it actually could be a Game & Watch. Well, that that would have to be a double layer there over top that Game Panic mm -hmm. because that's on the same plane as the things falling. Okay. Because on the Game & Watches, you have one oh, they're field solid. and they're, they're solid. solid lit up things. Yeah. And there's only one per square, yeah. per area. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they reuse them and like add things yeah. to the edges. Yeah. yeah. But other than the title, which um, it looks like that could be, because that could be the overlay, those shelves could be like a, an overlay as well. Mm. Um, so it looks like uh, Octavio is going to be posting some stuff in the Atari Age forums. Excellent. About yep. details on how, how, how the game is How you can get the game yeah, and information awesome. about the game. So there is the uh, first, first one. And funny enough, the second game was on the Sega Genesis on cartridge and CD. Oh, Game Panic 2. Yeah, Game Panic 2. Uh, also in partnership with John Hancock. Nice. Um, the first one was described as John's game room has been overrun by spiders and water leaks. To further complicate the matter, his garage door is gone on the fritz. Will only open periodically. Help him dash to the rightmost exit in a handful of games while avoiding falling water and creepy critters. 
Um, I could not find an explanation of what this game is about. It looks like he's catching games. The links are all dead. Uh, it's for... cartridges falling from, yeah. from the sky. Yeah. So this is like uh, a runner that it's like a, a, an auto scrolling runner. Mm. And those look like they're cartridges cartridges those kind of look like uh, they look like atari switch, or something yeah switch cartridges oh because they're kind of rounded they have on the a top. rounded top i don't know yeah it's hard to say and the other ones that's, that's nes an nes for sure and I then i saw there was wider a, yeah as a genesis a cartridge genesis. which is this is what there it is there's a genesis cartridge nice um and then he made a color version mm. of the same game the color edition of game panic 2 let's look forward to there there you go and the guy's a little bit wider oh, slow boo says game panic rom is on atari age oh is it game panic lcd oh i didn't find it right away i'll have to look for it then um yep had an option where people could order their own personal message inside the game oh, uh, nice. had atari sega and nes cart sprites nice. so here's the color version of it there's the uh, Genesis cartridge. I, I swear that's a um, Switch. Uh, no. Is it a Switch? No, it would be too old for Switch, wouldn't it? No, this it one came out? out in 2017. No, it's Atari, Sega, and NES. That's an Atari, then. Yeah, they are Atari That's cards. NES? Yeah, that's, that's an Atari. Atari. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think you're reading too much into it. <laughs> It's a little, a little box. Yeah. <laughs> a little box little with a box. label. It's an Atari card. Bunch of bugs and water. Yeah yeah so a fun little game Cute. so he has extended this one um quite a bit mm. um where it is a uh, multi-level you're in oh. a you're in a building okay um and you let me see if i can get the description there it is. Uh, a new batch of games have arrived at retro tower only to be incorrectly delivered to random floors. <laughs> Corral the carts while avoiding invaders and dodging death. Mm -hmm. Grab guest boxes to move, meet your quota too. Guest boxes include bonus score, warping to elevator, and more time. Mm -hmm. Elevator, Elevators open and close intermittently, kind of like the sides in the first game, okay. the garage door. So you, um, any surface that makes contact above your feet can be climbed. There's some ladders in the game. Okay. When enough carts slash guest boxes are collected, the player is placed far left or right on the elevator and moved to a new set of five floors. Okay. When enemies warp in, they pause and can be safely avoided. Uh, crouch to avoid flying foes. Contact with enemies and running out of time loses life, run out of lives, and it's game over. So mm -hmm. fairly straightforward. Um, avoid the bad guys, collect the carts, and collect the guest boxes. This is Game Panic 3. Game Panic 3, also in the style oh, okay. of uh, Game & Watch as well. Nice. Uh, Yay! Oh, it's <laughs> branded for nice. ZPH. Woo. So, standard Gem and Tronic, Gem and Tronic. Uh, music. And there it is. I love when they put the ZPH at the beginning. Yeah. So nice. <laughs> so nice. Also prevents me from distributing it. Yeah. <laughs> So it's been their best interest yeah. as well. Yeah. But it's also very, very nice yeah, it is. of him to put that in. Um, okay, screen layout. Guide your player through five floors displayed at the top center. This is demo mode? It's demo mode. Very nice. Uh, lives are displayed as the carts at the bottom of the screen. So you see mm -hmm. the five carts. That's your lives. The countdown bar is located on the bottom right. Counting down. Current score is centered below the play area, I guess where demo would be. When all the lives are lost, current score is displayed in blue with a high score uh, color cycle. So there's a high score as well. Okay. So uh, go for it. This is couch compliant. The demo on the uh, Atari age is not. There you go. So there's the elevator. You're going down. So you've landed on a five floor. So you can climb up and down the ladders. Can I? They have to be on the ladder. Oh, I see. <laughs> Top and down it. There's the cartridge. You've got one. I think you have to avoid five of them. Yep. And there's the guest box with the question mark. That's two. Oh, no, nope, disappeared. There's the question. You're running out of time. Oh, get out of the way. Three. Oh, you turned a different color. Oh, I am running out of time. 
Oh, you lost a life. Oh my gosh. Wow. Punishing. Oh, we're probably on the hard level. Let me reset. We're on like AA. Oh. Let's try that again. Yeah, we haven't got to um, difficulty mode, but I see it here. We were on pro mode. Oh, you can get off at any floor. Oh, and there's some, some vines to go up and down. I would stay away from the edges, maybe. Can you go... Remember, you can duck as well. That's one. Ugh. Have to be on the vine. It's. You almost have to hit it twice. Yeah, it's a different. Because it's LCD. Jeez. Maybe it's timing, right? Oh, come on. I don't think you go down them. Oh. Maybe it's only up, like what? snakes and ladders. Yeah. Oh, oh, you can. I think you finished? Yeah, I think you got the last one. Hope oh, so. this is kind of like an open play field where you're climbing on netting. Okay, I'm gonna read more. Uh, press fire to progress the uh, progress past title screen, demo game, demo motor, game over. Move horizontally via left and right. Move vertically on elevators and climbable surfaces up and down. Duck for cover on floors via down. Uh, does not work on climbable surfaces because it makes you go down. So if you're on that top level, you should be able to duck. Yeah, in case something's coming for you. Uh, reboot clearing score using the reset button. So you don't want to reset if you don't, don't want to clear the scores. Yeah, still an expert. There we go. Press left on the title to reduce that to novice. Or not. <laughs> oh! I didn't notice there wasn't a choice on the no. opening screen. No. Um, that's fine. Two heads means you chose expert. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Just occurred to me that character mode games and the Atari computers were just training us to accept how LCD games operate. Well, there's little bugs on the... <laughs> when you're traveling to a different floor, there's, there's enemies that are flying up. That's a nice little touch. Yeah, you definitely get more time. Ah, ah stop it. <laughs> Yeah, difficulty A or B switch to pro sets the quota of carts from three to six. Pro also shortens the time limit. Oh my goodness. So you only have to get three. You don't move very each... fast. Well, it is an LCD game. <laughs> At least you get more time with those guys. Uh, couch compliant. Hold down the fire button for 10 seconds to restart the game. Mm. Oh, very nice. I think that's the second instance of that. Where if you have a, a fire button and you only need to press it, holding it down instead of going to the reset switch works. Oh, you got hit. It, he just materialized on top of me. He says that... Oh, I died. I died. Oh, you ran out of time? Okay. Yeah. Still... Okay. Are you? Are we still an expert? He said. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh, come on! There we go. And your time Ooh. fills up. Oh, different screen. Oh, so parts of this you can go up, and parts of it you can't. Oh, that didn't work. Well, you went on the elevator. And I guess when the walls claw off it, close off, it just kicks you off the elevator abruptly. Yeah, I can't go... Oh, maybe. Mm. Um, so, 50 points per cart collected. 100, uh, 10 to 100 points randomly from every guest box. Ooh, ducking. <laughs> it gets very small when he ducks. No! Ah! Uh, and 40, give or take, bonus points every level. I love that. It's like, uh, it's around 40. Oh, he's fiery. Oh, he just stopped being fiery there. Very nice. Helpful hints. You skip every other space compared to the enemies. This allows you to bypass them with, oh, with, come on. with timing. Ooh, got slammed. Oh, you're uh, almost out of I time. Couldn't, I couldn't uh, Oh, do you anything. lost another life, too. I know I couldn't do anything. Run. You can only go up and down. Ah, uh, you can't. Did you get that? I think you did. Can I go up? No, I can't. That floor you can only go. I am. I, I'm stuck on the here, elevator. Right. Hope so for unless... the elevator. There you go. There. Oh, yes. run! Oh nope. no, you did it. Okay. Did I? Yeah, you. One materialized under you. A guest box. Nope. Uh, elevators are safe, but can push you out. Oh. Uh, when en enemies warp in, they are gray and harmless. 
Ugh. Unless they're gray the whole time. Uh, use this time to position yourself. Hi, cat. Enemies will most likely warp in or out when fewer on the screen. Hmm. If a climbable surface does not extend out of the top of the floor, then you not cannot climb back down it. Oh, so if it's not... Did I die? Yep. Game How over for die? you. Look at, the, look at all the time I had at the bottom. Must have landed on something. I But there was the thing. Oh, well. Hmm. It's all good. Still an expert. Oh, Press left on the title screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Oh, there. Yeah. See, you were on expert. I was on an expert, but I didn't know that. That's fine. Okay. Try uh, novice. 50 scoring? Did you talk about scoring? Uh, I am down to enemies. Just enemies, enemies will most likely warp in and out to, yeah, when fewer on the screen. If a climbable surface does not extend out of the floor... of the, You mentioned that already. Yeah. Uh, avoid long hallways with no vertical egress as the elevators can close while enemies draw near. When clearing a level, watch the bottom far left and right size as you may start at either end. I don't know what you're having trouble with moving. You just have to hold it. No, no, move. no, no. Um... Easy. No, sometimes it. Uh, is it getting stuck? Yeah, hmm. I was like, I was, I was yanking on it too. I have so. no problems moving. Yeah, no, I had a lot of trouble. See, like that. I, it's sometimes getting up and down on the. Um, well, you missed it. There you go. Yeah, I got that one. I can't move very fast. That's uh, my wow. b my biggest complaint is that he moves very slowly. <laughs> uh, it moves fast for me. No, I'm mine. Um, so what is the indicators of how many carts you've collected? I can't... Do you have to just... Do you have See? to memorize... Oh, you can't go down on that. Yeah. Because it's not sticking to drop, out. You have to drop off it. Right. Oh, it's I think I got that one. necessarily true, though. Just that level, I think. There you go. I think you have go to down. manually no? count. There you go. Because there's, there's no indicators too. of how many you have got. Crouching can avoid flying enemies. Oh, your player color. Yes, okay. So I'm pink, and I got three. Yeah. So you only have to get three on novice. You're yeah. playing on expert. Yeah, it was like five or something like I love that. the different screens you can go to. So that's one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this level is better to stay in the middle. Yeah, it's no, it's bad news to, yeah, just go up and down the ladders on that one. Oh, same one. mystery box. So what does the mystery box give you? It time. gives you time, a cartridge, uh, or points. Grab guest boxes to meet your quota to guest box effects include bonus score, warping to elevator, and warping. more time. Oh, okay. So sometimes you'll just warp to the without elevator. Uh, collecting all of them. Yeah. This is a dangerous spot. Um, probably here is a good, these two levels. Maybe. Ooh, yeah. more time. Uh, more time is the best, for sure. Yes. Nice use of player uh, zero for the elevator. Yeah. Oh, God. Gotta get on the... No! Okay. Whew. Forgot about ducking. <laughs> this is fairly faithful to, like, Game & Watch type games. Slow, are you the developer for for this game? <laughs> yes. Oh, for he sure he is. Oh, okay. For sure he is. That's the problem with having different names <laughs> all over the place. It's like, well, there's your real name. Yeah. Then your Atari Age forum name. Then your Twitch name. And then your Twitter name. Oh, I died once. Yeah. And then your like, YouTube channel Slow handle. Slow knows a lot about playing this game, so <laughs> it's it's a fairly fairly decent uh, assumption. Oh God. Ah! ah! Oh, an elevator! Ah! Come on! Ah! Oh, ah! Up! <laughs> oh, Yay! My goodness. Too many years on the internet, you collect nicknames. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, this one I haven't oh, seen God. yet. Oh, boy. That's cute. It's hearts Stuck. and arrows. No, you have to oh. go up the middle. Duck! Duck! Oh, oh what? Oh, you, you fell can through. fall down there? I don't know if you can always do ah. that. I can't go up to here. Yeah, I have to use the elevator. Uh, oh, my goodness. How could I fall down? I know. Interesting. Yes, you can. You can always just... Nice. Climb down through. So down's always an option? I don't know. If you go I down? I don't think so. I didn't think so. No, it's not. Oh, I found a bug. <laughs> like right here. Where is it? Here. I don't think you're supposed to go down there. I don't know. Ah. No! Oh, oh I gotcha. got fried. Like there. 
Oh, it's because I'm touching something. It thinks I can go down. I don't know. I bet I can go down here too. See, he's, he's a climber. Ah. Can I go up there? Let's see. I'll yeah. have to wait. Can I go up? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ah, good job. So if you're touching anything, you can go up and down. Yeah, like that. Like here, I can... Yeah. Did I die there? Yep. Oh, you didn't give me any time warping no. in. No. No. I thought they you have gave to get you it. some time. No, it's pretty short. It's pretty oh, there short. it is. It's very short. It's very short. So if you're over top of something, just move. And they can warp in anywhere. Oh, that just took me to an elevator. Yep, it warps to elevators. So that's not a bug. That's that's intentional. Ah, down. There we go. Good job. So I should be able to go up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Getting it. I'm understanding it. Nope. Oh, I should have moved over. I'm running out of time. Oh, no. Oh, down. Nice. Did that give me time? I don't know. Gave you Elevator. points. Oh, I can go up here. Up. Oh, no, I died. Damn it. No, come on. Oh, I got all my time back because I died. Not the best Oh, one. you went through. Oh, no, you didn't. Yeah, it's in the instructions. You go through things if you time them out because ah. your man moves every second space. Mm -hmm. Octavio say, uh, just made... Um, a Put a statement in there. Dear people, I would like to say thanks every, for everyone that was here tonight. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> oh. After watching the live, I made a little uh, tuning t uh, tuning to the checkpoint times and traffic instantly. Okay. Very small change. I restored the binary links on Git. Um, so you can download the latest version if you want. And I will post soon all the changes to this final exclusive version. Nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank Very you fun. again. Yes. For letting us play it. Yes. So much fun. Oh, I think the easy is too easy for yeah. me. Easy is? Yeah. Yeah, um, having to collect more is definitely more. Yeah. Your time runs out real fast. So, let's see this couch compliance. Oh. Ah, nice. Nice. That's a really smart way of getting Push back, and hold. Push and hold for 10 seconds. Yeah. And you started blinking too to warn yeah. you. Yeah, um, like you're you're going back now. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to play again? You do want to play hard? I yeah, played hard, I so do. yeah. I'll play hard. So you can and get the feel for... It's good to have a basic mode, like especially if mm -hmm. you want like kids to play it. Well, you, it so it's, they can have fun with it. It's good to kind of figure it out. Well, you're hanging too. the whole way up here. Yeah. Reminds me of the Mario games where you're on that mesh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Do I have to get six? Oh my god, I'm going to die. I think you should Five get more six. mystery boxes. Look, look at your time. See? Yeah, you don't have as much See, time. See, you're like, oh, you're having trouble walk getting around. I'm like, <laughs> well, it's no, not... it's really hard. There's a lot to get. Well, and you're dead. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you die really fast. Easy is really easy and hard is really hard. You have to. There oh, you go. God. But I lost a life, the yeah. first level. Yeah, oh, this one's a bit better. Uh, means it's more challenging to get a high score. Nice. Okay. I'm going to see, I'm going to get, try and get everything that's green. I okay. like the color coding too. Makes it a lot easier. Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. No. To the right. Uh, oh, I oh, went off the screen too I know, quick. I know. I haven't died yet though. That's good. I'm getting down in time though. I have to get that box first. Yeah. You do get, it does uh, count a lot of the time. Box, give me. Oh, nice. I made it. Good Didn't job. Use, oh, I got an extra life. There you go. I don't. I didn't remember reading about extra lives on there. No, but maybe the box gave you one. Oh, come on! Nice. It might give extra lives. You have to go after the mystery box first. Mm-hmm. Because you, you need all the bonuses from it. All the time you can get. Oh, that one was like there for a second. Ah, uh, oh, can't yeah. get up there. No. No, elevator, don't burn me! Don't elevator. burn me! There you go. Oh, I, I got. Oh, we did I get. Died. He did. Yeah, yeah I'm, he must have gone full. Oh no! Did you get it? I don't know if uh, you got it. It might have disappeared off the screen. You're so fast. Ah, oh, can't get it. Mm -mm. Oh, the time! Give me no. Give, oh, oh, just just made it, and I got an extra life. Good. Okay, it's pretty generous with the extra lives, which That's is good. nice. Oh, it goes away so fast. Ah. 
Stay in the middle. This is a good level to go. <laughs> See, it works for your advantage and disadvantage yeah. going through because it also is for the pickups too that you can, come on, give it to me. Oh, oh, extra life. And it threw me on the elevator, but didn't give me an extra time. Ah, oh. No, Dead. lost a life. Well, as long as it's generous with the lives. So far, it's been pretty it's good. I've got like a three extra lives. Oh, there we go. More time, please. Yes. Up, get that. No. Walked right through it. Get. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Run, little guy, run. Oh, <laughs> let me stay in these levels. Because. Yeah, like you can go up and down. You can go up and down. And avoid things if you, you need can't to. go up on the edges. No, you, on the elevator, yes. No, the edges, no. Uh, no, because you're just between. Oh, them. you're between them. Ah, run, run. Didn't lose life. Oh, I, I have to go up there though. I've no, nope. here. We... Oh my god, full time. Nice. Or did I die? I think I died. <laughs> you might have died. <laughs> uh, elevator. No, oh. I missed it. Oh no, you're trapped up there now. I know. That's uh, that's it's why you almost here. don't want to be up there. Like Oh, go down. <gasps> oh, it went through. Oh, damn it. I hate yeah. that. I it, yeah, I have to stay here. It oh, what? <laughs> it's on for a second in gray. <laughs> it's like, "Hi, bye." It depends where whether it goes left or right sometimes, right? Yes, it like randomly it can appears. can run away from you. <laughs> it randomly appears somewhere. And it can be right on the edge, mm -hmm. and then it can randomly go the, the the opposite direction. Yeah. Look at that robot. I know. With I wheels, like the the skull on wheels. Skull, skull robot. He's pretty cool. Yeah. And the fire breathing alien dude. Oh. Nice. Pollbot should also show the results in the chat. It never I know. Shows I the know results. it should. That'd be. It never shows the results in the chat. Nope. Oh. Nice. Wow, I'm actually, I thought I was going to just crash at first, but I'm maintaining. Mm -hmm. You're doing very well. It helps getting easier levels, too. One, that one level is very difficult. Very hard, yeah, this where you get trapped all the time. Uh, <laughs> I'll miss both. Oh. No, come here. Oh. oh, I got it. Oh, extra life. So when you get an extra life, it shoots you off to the elevator. It it's, so, it, so it's elevator and uh, extra life is uh, what you're saying. Oh, you can move while you're ducking. Look. Oh, that's good. That's cute. Oh, just in time. I think you, you lost a life, didn't you? No. 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 I have five lives. Okay. I like the colors. They're good colors, yeah. It's good contrast between the uh, cyan and the pink. <laughs> yeah. Oh, went away. I mean, is that a is that a like Commodore cyan? The Commodore cyan it's, is a pretty distinctive. It's a, it's close to it. It's a little it. paler than the Commodore cyan. I could be Commodore wrong. Our colors are very bad. Oh, I love that color though. <laughs> the blue and the light. Like blue. as a whole, it's a terrible. Color. Oh yeah, no, I'm not saying it's great. Um, but I I like that color. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hand this off to you. Me. To finish off. Okay. There you go. I'll, You're I'll safe. die promptly. I'm sure. I've given you five lives and all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There isn't an option, but the oh, poll bot should. Come on. That'd be really good to post it in the in the chat, so it's always there. But we did. I don't think anybody voted. Most people vote like right at the beginning. So just sometimes we get out of the way. Oh, we're out of time. Mm -hmm. It doesn't give you full time when you die. Time. Ooh, yum yum yum, 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 yum. Oh, the yum. voice is different. They changed the voice. Did Hi. they? Ah. Yeah, because I upgraded it. What is this? What oh, is goodness. this? He's like, where's my bell? There you go. <laughs> that was a very solid ding. Ready? I Get just it. keep dying. I don't know how you do it so fast. There we go. Oh, down to two. Thank you, old style. Atari thanks you. And I will get back to you, uh, your your messages. I um, just have been so busy. So very busy. 
the bell still summons Atari, so Yo-ho-ho. the upgrade didn't break the important part yet. No. Nope. Yeah, it's all back working again. I think it just had a little hiccup there. Okay, this is number three. I usually pour a bunch in my hand. Oh, you've got a few in there. Okay. Yeah. Give me a couple more here. Oh, thank goodness. Nope. Nope. Come on. <laughs> he, does, he barely looks at it. He's so skilled at it now. He just... He knows the location. No, you have to ring the bell. You know the you know the drill. Got four more for you. Oh. Oh, he walked over to the bell. Oh, ding it. Come on, there's an audio component to this. There you go. I was very sad when I had to remove his name from the t-shirt where he's on it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I had to just say our cats. Yeah. Because it got taken down because I you guess... You had the word Atari in I it. guess Atari looks for like, oh, merchandise that people use the word Atari for. And they didn't even look at it. Oh, There's no God. Atari symbol. There's nothing to do with the computer, like the consoles, mm-hmm. anything to do with Atari. It was him. Yep. Yeah. Apparently, even naming your cat Atari will give you a cease and desist <laughs> order. Yep. Poor Atari. Poor kitty. Yeah. Here, here, put him in the last one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, so thank you so much. That's a really great recreation of a Game & Watch and a, a nice addition to an extension of your other games because there's a lot going on in this game compared to the other ones where you're just like avoiding things going across the screen. So a great addition to your trifecta of uh, Game Panic. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Jason, for letting us uh, play the exclusive final build nice. of your game. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a lot of fun and a lot of really nice elements. Like I love it. Ducking, random power-ups. Yeah. The elevator thing closing yeah. and opening. And it really, really has, smart. like, like I, 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 the other one seemed as well, a real Game & Watch feel to it. Like the little guy going back and forth and <laughs> jumping up and down ladders. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. What if you're a fan of the board game Go? Well, you're going to get a cease and desist. Yeah. yeah. That is where the, the name it Atari is. came from. Yeah. Uh, it is. Yeah, it's the final move or second to final uh, it, or opening it, move. No, I, I think remember. it's the winning. It, the winning you move. Ma- you you make an Atari if you win, something like that? I think so. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Um, so let's turn that off so there's no more background noise. Playing the demo, which is also very cool. It's got a demo mode. Yeah, many, I love that. Yeah. Not many games. I like have it that. when that can play in the background while yep. you're waiting, chatting, and yeah, and it's figuring out your strategy. Mode. Yeah, attract, attract mode. mode. That's what it is <laughs> for the arcade. Yeah. Um. So stick around. We're going to be playing Fail Safe mm-hmm. in After Dark, the seven eight hundred game by Bob Di Crescenzo. Yeah. Um. Super fun. You have a tank. You're navigating. Things are shooting at you. You get power ups. Um. You navigate through the terrain. Um, it's kind of puzzly, kind of action. It's a nice balance. Mm-hmm. Um, and we just got the retail version of it. So we're going to be playing that in a couple minutes after, like, I don't know, 10, 15. Mm-hmm. Uh, there'll be a countdown uh, after we're finished this show. So stick around. Do not leave. Did you ever play it on stream before? We did. Uh, we played it once on the stream I, before. We did. I, I know I've played it, so... You played it when we did the Spotlight, because you played every single oh, game Oh, that's true. But yeah. we did play it after. We did. But I wanted to get a, an actual retail copy of it. Yeah. Um, so we can read the instructions, etc. Do et the whole thing. Okay. And and do a playthrough of it. Yeah. So, um, let me just see what's coming up here on the show. It'll give you time to refresh your drink. That's right. Pet 10, your 15 minutes. Pet the cat. Um, Tape up your cords so they, the cats don't oh uh, sever them. Oh my god. Bad cat. Bad cat. So ne- on Tuesday, yeah. we're going to be something, doing something we've never done before, is play the Atari Jaguar on the show for Ooh. a special edition of I Zero Page Homebrew. Yes. Yay! Because um, we just got a Jaguar. We've got an RGB connection for it. Uh, we've got two great shooters yep. um, that we have. Homebrew retail versions of them. Um... What are we playing? We're playing Xenon 2 and Last Strike. So these two games we'll be playing. Nice. Xenon 2 and Last Strike for the Jaguar. Nice. Um, These were as part of Atari Age Day 2021. 
which is also coming up. We're just trying to nail down the date that works, um, but it's coming up very soon. Mm -hmm. Next month, maybe we'll hope for Atari Jaguar. Rawr. He, thinks, <laughs> he thinks he's a Jaguar, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Destroying all the uh, all the snakes running yep. around the house. On the evil, floor. evil electric snakes. <laughs> A conduct data. <laughs> ah, Caffey Man 2D. I see that there's there's a method. Uh, there's the, the answer is is in the game we're playing. Obviously, I don't know. I don't remember what Inspector Morse drives, but I'm assuming it's a Jaguar. Oh, so okay. <laughs> it's well, been a you, while. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> Would love to stick around for your after dark, but Eastern Time Zone says too late. I'll yeah. catch on VOD later. Yeah. Good night. Thanks for the stream. Well, thank you for sticking around. That's right. Uh, and all these other people: uh, Charles Reese, Caffey Man 2D, Dan, ABC. Mm -hmm. Metal Lunar, Nostalgic, uh, Slabu, um, uh, who Ooh. made the game. Yeah. It's hard to keep awesome. track of different names. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, but... <laughs> who made Game Panic 3 and 2 and 1. And 2 and 1. Uh, Vitoko, uh, Op Bokel, who made the first game. Yeah. Octavio, Octavio, thank you for making that video as well, explaining. Really nice, and yeah. And letting us play the final version of your game. Yeah. Uh, download it on Atari Age forums. Uh, RC70, Al Nefer, um Regina, you skipped oh, over oh, someone. Oh, oh. Regina Girasol. Yeah, that's good pronunciation. I'd mess that up. <laughs> Laylism. Laylism. Yeah. Mike Soul. Mike's. Uh Severin. Ivory Tower Collections. Uh, Charles Whelan. Carl G. BR Pocock. Lots of peoples today. Oh. Haha. -ha. H U E J A S S 79. <laughs> you tried. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Mapamenta. And that's the top of the Yay. list. See anybody snuck Thank in you. at the bottom? No. No. Jaguar by the Jaguar. Brits. Jaguar. Jaguar. Yes, yeah. that's correct. <laughs> um, so, yeah, stick around. We'll be back. Getting pranked by Bart Simpson. Yeah. Close. He didn't get me, though. That mm -hmm. Bart. Mm. So, uh, stick around. We'll be back in about, probably not too long. Ten Just minutes. Ten, ten minutes. minutes. Yeah. yeah. Very, yeah. very short. A quick, quick flip over. And we'll be playing... Refresh your drinks. Failsafe for the 7800. Yep. Yes. Thank you uh, for sharing your expertise with the uh, rest of the Batari basic crowd, Al and, and Carl, Carl G. G. Yeah. Yes, they are very, very uh, great supporters and uh, contributors mm -hmm. in the Atari Age forums um, and helping everybody out. Yeah. And uh, Vitoko. Hey. And Vitoko. So we'll be back in 10 minutes. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching on YouTube, all the many, many people now. Yeah. Awesome. Bye bye. Yeah, bye. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. And then we will see you after the weekend yes. on Tuesday. Yes. For Jaguar games. Fun stuff. Okay, bye bye. Bye.